Do you think you're like this is you? Like, do you think politician for life? No, 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 no. I could quit tomorrow, bro. I don't. Real? No, I, yeah, no. I, um, I, I never. Would you? I, I think about if you speak to anybody close to me in yeah. my life. If you speak to my partner, if you speak to my dad, if you speak to my mum, my sister, my friends. Uh, they would tell you that I have a conversation with each of them probably weekly, if not fortnightly, and definitely my partner, daily, about yeah. leaving. Um, is, is that your is... way of dealing with it? Or are you seriously thinking about, nah? This is not the only way to create change. Yeah. Um, this is <laughs> one hat to wear to try and do this stuff. Um, you know, I, we didn't, we haven't properly, uh, you know, there's so many different ways to um, work through all of this stuff. But when I was younger, I thought that the way that I was going to do it, and who knows, it still could be potentially in the future, it was going to be small business. Yeah. <laughs> it was going to be through social enterprise. Yeah. And, you know, we built these little tiny collectives, which were like real low rent ramshackle versions of this, yeah. uh, where we would try and go. We made it. Yeah, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> I just needed a few more years. Um, but, you know, it was, it was how do we leverage off of each other? How do we build something that is sustainable and resilient and regenerative because all of us are building off of each other's backs and each other's reputations Absolutely. and realizing how important it is that we have that interconnectivity and, and there's that a recognition that culture and connectivity is mm. fundamental to what we're doing and we kind of mm. understand it mm. we're not trying to implement it into a system that kind of is resisting it yeah but that that's my point right is that 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 kaupapa that that value set exists in so many different manifestations so um, when it comes to politics, the... I can't believe you said you're thinking about quitting all the time. Oh, always. I mean, I, I, I actually think it's really problematic if, there are, if politicians who are in power do not think about leaving this role. The amount of power that you have... On the weekly? Oh, yeah. No, nah, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're not as introspective. I don't know. Um, but, you know, what is the point of this job? Like if I, uh, to, if, if I'm to narrow it down, and again, massive generalization, binaries usually aren't helpful, yeah, but yeah, they okay. can distill um, concepts. So if I think about the day-to-day -day role, you basically choose between one of two things at a high level. You choose change or you choose your career. And the thing is, when you choose one of those two things under, over the other, you start deprioritizing the other. So what I mean sure. by that is, you know, advocating for massive social change is not necessarily particularly popular. The academic evidence can be there, but that doesn't mean people are on board with it because our culture, our value sets, our understandings aren't there. Yeah. But in advocating for that thing, you are pushing forward change. And the great irony that I see playing out with some politicians, and I can tell you for a fact in some of the more controversial areas that I work on, like drug law reform, for example, Politicians will, will express an opinion in private, yeah. which is totally different to what they'll express in public. Yeah, totally. And the reason that they do that, and I think what they tell themselves is, well, if I stay in this role longer, then I can change my party, or I can drag people along, I can get to this point. That's gotta be the great lie. Exactly, because what they're doing there is rationalizing that they themselves have to be they're there to progress that beast, change. Man. It's selfish. Totally. Because the point of being in this role is to recognize that you have a really finite opportunity to try and change things and to keep clinging to power almost for the sake of it because you think you're so important for that change but like is mind-blowing. Like, my sense, just I don't know you, but the sense I get from this conversation is mm. that you ain't in it for power. You're in, <laughs> I think that you're in it someone, for change. Someone once asked me, um, once asked me, like two, three weeks ago, I was at this. Hoodie, it was felt drunk um, with power, just really. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not me. I'm giving it out, bro. I'm here for decentralization. Uh, um, but I was, I was at this hui like uh, two, three weeks ago, and this uh, person asked me, you know, the classic question that I'm asked in many different environments, you know, uh, how do you use your privilege? And for the first time, I was like you know what, the best way to use your privilege is to risk losing it. Yeah. That's, how you, that's how you change things. If you want to just pretend that you can keep coasting on and that things are somehow going to change and you get to keep your place on the social hierarchy without ever risking that, yeah. what's the point? You're not actually engaged in change. You're engaged in posturing. You're engaged in virtue signaling. Yeah. But that's the same for everything, right? You have to risk it. Yeah. That's how it all gets unlocked. Mm-hmm. 
when you think about, um, I'm just kind of, yeah. And also I Kind of spun out on the fact that you're, no that's one cool person, though. No one person is bigger than the kaupapa. Like, yeah, totally. I think that's I think that's another thing is, when you get bogged down in this thing that you are so important to progress that change, then you start getting down this rabbit hole of um, just like, I think at that point you're drunk on power. Do you at reckon that, point that you think um, you're so important. like, if you do throw it in, if you did throw it in, would that, like, what would the driver be? That you felt that you couldn't create the change that you wanted to create through the political system? That's where it gets tense, right? Because yeah. I, I have this discussion and I try and figure this out. What's the trigger point? Because when I first came in, everyone was like, how long are you going to be here? Like, do you want to be prime minister? Do you want to be minister? Blah, blah, blah. And I mean, first things first, no one joins the Greens because they want to be Prime Minister. <laughs> you know, I join the Greens because I believe in something and I'm yeah. like, I'm going to fight this corner tooth and nail. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I haven't set any arbitrary time frame on it because it would be arbitrary. It is totally driven by context and by circumstances and by, you know, I guess definitely does it make an impact if I blow it all up? Does that mean that that becomes the driver for something else? Um, or is it that, you know, to look at it from a quite individualistic perspective, can I survive anymore? Because it's, it's like Parliament is like an experience or an experiment when you're in that space a good and word. gaslighting. Yeah. Like, Reality doesn't exist inside the parliamentary chamber. The, we're like in this wood panelled room with plush seats and this like plush green carpet. Dude in is... a cape and a wig. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no natural light in there. It's a, it's a literal embodiment of the ivory tower. Like, yeah. But I think it must, I don't know, I'm speculating, but it must be kind of liberating to be a politician but at any point in time, not be comfortable with mm. being able to walk away mm. from it, but you know, to be like, oh, it's not doing the thing that I wanted to do, Too I'll sure. go. And not so attached to it that like, you know, well, I want to be a minister, I want to be the prime minister, I, I want yeah, to be. I, I, think, I think it means that you make decisions that are not based on the progression of your career, which comes back to that basic totally kind it. of scale thing, right? Yeah. Like, I, I want to produce change. I am not here to like escalate up this ladder or whatever, because if I was, then I wouldn't be focused on the change. So um, I, I also accept that, you know, some of the things that I advocate for, if I don't manage to win the public argument on them, then I'm absolutely sacrificing my career. But that's the thing. It's, it's just one manifestation of the kaupapa, and this is where the mahi's at right now. So, you know, here for a good time, not a long time. 